this morning as one of our uh, many gardening uh, things that we're going to get up to today we are going to plant our elephant garlic that came from uh, Honey Badger's homestead which thank you very much for sending this to us because this is something that we've uh, wanted to try and uh, I have a feeling we're going to want to get more of it the more we read about it but basically what we're going to do is uh, treat it very similar to what we did with our uh, music garlic last year and we're going to open this uh, this up see how many little cloves we've got in here and uh, we're going to give them a uh, baking soda soak probably overnight uh, just because by the time we get around to actually planting them it'll probably be tomorrow so I'm going to open this up and see I think some of them are sprouting so I don't want to damage it too much One, two, wow, three, four, five, six, it's a little one, I don't know if I'll, uh, smells like garlic. So there's one that uh, didn't make it, but the rest look pretty good. So I'm going to uh, take a little bit of the loose stuff off here. Not too bad. We're going to do the uh, baking soda soak, which uh, is supposed to help with any, um, uh, what do you call it, rotting agents, that sort of thing. So do you need to do it? Possibly not, but we're going to for good measure. We did with the other ones, and we had an excellent... Uh, yeah, so, um, we didn't have any of them perish, so and a couple of them weren't in great shape. So, not an exact science. What's the uh, quarter ratio? teaspoon? Quarter mm -hmm. teaspoon per liter, or per... Sorry, two cups. We were doing two cups with a quarter teaspoon. I will stir that up a That's little bit. That's a little bit more than the quarter teaspoon, but I don't well, think it really I don't matters. think it's really going to make a huge difference. So there's that, and I'm just going to go ahead here and plop them in. Oh, they're floating. I can't remember if the other one's floated too. I think so. I think so. You're right. I'm not super whatever about it, but if there's any like noticeable loose um, shells or whatever. Yeah, peelings, I'll kind of take them off. but. Anyways, we'll let those soak overnight, and, come back and, and we'll uh, plant, plant them, them tomorrow. Super exciting. It is. Very exciting. We're out in the garden. Our uh, elephant garlic has uh, been soaking overnight, so that's excellent. But uh, we're going to actually plant this in one of our raised beds with kind of a border of turnips. And so uh, we're going to show you how we're planting the turnips here. We're using a little thing that we got from Guten Yardening to do our garden this year. I thought it would be fun. So, I thought of using our seed, the seeding square that we got. There it is. And we'll link his channel down below. Mm -hmm. So what are you planting with the seeding square? I'm going to be planting some turnips. Mm -hmm. I'm going to poke the holes. Now how deep, do you oh. <laughs> how deep are you supposed to plant turnip? I don't know. That's a funny Don't thing. go that deep. We're going to be pushing the holes for it. Mm -hmm. And for the turnips, you want to use the yellow holes. There's three of them. There. There you go. So the turnips are set. Now what's at the end of your thing that you could use to help you plant now? The spoon part. Just See, do one at a time. If you can catch one at a time, that's good. There you go. And plop it in. Perfect. And just do that nine times. Two. Three. James has planted sort of three seeding squares of turnips on this side of the bed and he's planting three more on that side of the bed and then 
you'll see kind of draw an imaginary line here. There will be a trellis go here because in this space, which doesn't look like anything right now, there will be another one of these L-shaped beds that we have all the material for, we just have to build it. So we're, we're planning this out that that's going to be in place so that we can put something on the trellis because vertical gardening is a great idea when you can do it. But what we're going to do with the elephant garlic is basically plant it in the middle here because it's going to get a little bigger and taller than the turnips. But uh, between the turnips and the elephant garlic that should fill this bed in pretty good and still leave a space on the front for uh, trellis. The, the trellis and something to grow up at. There it is, drained and ready to go. I'm not completely sure, but it almost looks to me like uh, while soaking this actually grew little root bits, which is kind of uh, impressive. I think it did. So after 24 hours, that's uh, pretty impressive. So I'm going to lay these out and uh, get them into the bed. There's our bed. So James has finished up his three square foot garden bits on either side of the bed with the uh, purple top turnip seeds and I've got the elephant garlic all in here. So uh, I'm going to cover up the elephant garlic and then give this a really good watering. And then that still, as I say, gives us the uh, the front end of this bed to uh, put the trellis in. So another bed planted. We'll see how it does.